Hi, I'm Lizzie and thank you for watching. Today we are going to learn how to create a watercolour effect using buttercream and I'm going to do it on quite a tall, about 9 to 10 inch cake. It's a really beautiful effect and it's quite simple to do. So if you enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe by clicking the link which I hope comes up just here and let's uh, crack on. So I'm going to start by making my buttercream for this. Now it's quite important the consistency of your buttercream. You want it to be really smooth and really like pipeable. That sounds a bit funny saying pipeable, but almost like you're spreading soft butter is how the consistency that you want it to be. So I've got here 250 grams of unsalted good quality butter. Now you need it to be, this looks a bit gross, squidgy. So literally it gives when I push my fingers onto it. If it's any harder, sorry, if it's any harder than that, then it's not gonna cream up very well and you're gonna have more problems getting the right consistency for your buttercream. So, butter in. And I'm gonna put this on my mixer with my paddle attachment for five minutes. And I know that sounds like, why on earth would you do that for five minutes? But honestly, I want it to go much paler, much creamier and silkier. So, let's pop this on. So, I have been beating this for about five minutes on a medium speed. And you can see, just by looking at it, how nice and pale and creamy that has now gone. It's much lighter than butter normally starts. So, I'm just gonna push down all around the sides because butter does have a habit, even though this is really soft now, you can see how soft that is. Oh, butter, so good. Um, even though it's really soft now, I don't want it to be stuck on the sides when I'm adding my icing sugar. So here, I've got 500 grams of icing sugar that I've sifted, and I'm gonna add about half of it in, and I'm gonna pop this under, ooh, whoops, to beat for about three minutes, and then I'm gonna mix the other half in. So my buttercream has now been beating for at least 10 minutes, and halfway through, I added the second half of my icing sugar. So I've now got 500 grams of icing sugar in there and 250 grams of softened butter. And it's really nice. You can see now, it's just lovely and pipeable. So I've got here my cake. I have got six layers of Victoria sponge that I have sandwiched together with buttercream and jam. I've let it chill in the fridge for about half an hour and then I've taken it out and I've literally, obviously not this, but with a serrated knife, just trimmed off the edge and gone around it. So I've got a really clean base to start working on. So with my buttercream, I'm gonna do what's called a crumb coat first and then I'm gonna pop it back in the fridge for another 10 minutes to let that set up. So I've got my buttercream here and this really only needs to be a very thin layer. So I'm literally gonna go up, nice and thin, all the way around. So I've whipped up my buttercream and that's all really nice and ready and I've split it into four. So I've just added a little tiny bit of paste coloring to each one. So I've put a bit of grape violet in this one, a little bit of magenta in here, and some baby pink in here. And this one I've just kept neutral. So you don't need much, but I would always advise using a paste. I don't know whether you can see that very well, but it's really thick and it can be a bit difficult to mix in to your icing. So what you can do is take a small spoon out and get a very concentrated small amount and then mix it in and it makes it a bit easier to mix. So I am gonna put these three bowls in piping bags now and get them ready to go around the cake. Okay, so I have just got my cake out of the fridge and it's nice and set. I can touch it, it's not all gonna fall apart. And that's exactly how I want it for trying to do this watercolor buttercream effect. So basically I've put my cake on a turntable so it's easy to keep spinning around like that. I've got my four buttercream colors in piping bags ready to go. I've got a bowl of hot water and I've got my metal scraper. Now, I might wanna use a larger metal scraper so that I've got the full height of the cake, but I can do it by just moving it up and down 
and around with a slightly smaller one as well. And I'm just gonna let my metal scraper sit in boiling hot water for a couple of minutes while I get my buttercream round. So here we go. So I've got my pink here and I'm gonna start by piping a line of pink all the way around the base. It doesn't matter at this stage if you're messy. So I've done pink, now I'm gonna go on like a ivory white. You don't really wanna have any gaps between your buttercreams. Next, I'm gonna go on purple and I'm gonna keep going like this all the way up to the top. Okay, so I've gone all the way to the top with my stripes and now I'm just gonna do some circles on the top. You wanna make sure every bit of your cake is covered. So you can see now, I have got a lot of buttercream all the way around. Now this is where your scraper comes into play. It's been sitting in boiling water for about a minute. I've got some kitchen roll. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. So I've just got a hot scraper. Take your scraper against your cake and start to work around turning as you go. You might want to wet your scraper again. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. I've still got a few little bits that are a bit rough and I'm just going to go over gently, smooth them all out. Now at this point, the bits that are left on your scraper if you want to make them more mixed, a bit more watercolour, you can start to add them at different layers. So you can see they start to mix up a little bit more. Or you can always add some that's already come off your scraper, like this, and add it on. So you get even more of a watercolour effect like that. Okay, so I've gone all the way up the sides now and all the way around and I've blended all the stripes really nicely and once you're happy with all the side effects, I've popped a palette knife in the hot water and now I'm just gonna come in, in and around like this. Wet it again and just pull in. And if you keep doing it on a swirl, you'll get a really nice, like a galaxy kind of swirl on the top and then you just need to go around your edge again to neaten it up and bring your top in okay so I'm just finishing off by bringing in the top just gently bringing in each bit at a time will give you a really nice crisp finished effect. So to just finish this off, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glitter sparkle spray. I'm not gonna put it right close, but I'm just gonna spray it and spin the cake. And can you see now, you can see probably better on top, but it is on the sides as well. It's just caught nicely. So there, thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon.